Next up on our text menu here we have our paragraph text frame options. Notice we can show text frames, fill text or fit text to frame, placeholder text, create an empty text frame, link and unlink text frames. You actually have text link between frames. Let me just demonstrate some of this stuff. Let's go over here to page four, which I believe is empty. And let's just see if we can find that page. Let's, let's set this up to fit the width. There we go. And I'll click on the type tool. And I'll just put in a paragraph like that. And then back over here, paragraph text frame. So we have our options. Now one of the options when I have a blank frame here is I can insert placeholder text. Actually fill the whole thing up with this lorem ipsum stuff. It just fills it up as a basic placeholder text. I'm going to put another frame over here. And we could link frames together. If I had too much text in here, and I can demonstrate that, I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to select that, let's copy that, and then I'll come down at the end here and I'll paste that. So there's now too much text inside of this frame. And as I have a little arrow right down here, I can click on that arrow and that gives me this additional text box, little kind of little symbol. I can then click into another text box and it links those two boxes together. The text is now linked between these two boxes. There's that little linking in there. If I move the box around, the text remains linked. So if I change the text over here, this text will adjust as well because the text comes in here and it wraps from here up to here and then it wraps down that onto the second text box. You can link your boxes together as well. And that option is also in here. That's the link and unlink options. So you have these different options in here just to help you work with your text. I just selected both. I can link them or I can unlink them right there. And of course if you're working on one of your text frames you still have your text properties in here and that button is your paragraph properties. We can look at that now. Demonstrate some of the stuff we haven't looked at before. Of course we looked at the different alignment options in here. Notice as I do different alignments, it's changing both of the text boxes because they are linked together. I can put in a left side indent. Notice again both boxes are, are, are working. I can do a right side indent. I can do a first line indent. It just indents just the first line of the paragraph. We can add more space above or below a paragraph. So we have options in there, space above, space below, and so forth. So all these still work. And as mentioned before, here's our text properties. But you also can go to object properties. And you still have these same text property options in here as well. So there you go. A little more working with these paragraph text frames. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, Click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.